Cop follows Teen after she smiles at him, has no idea what she's done. No one else had noticed what was going on, but he knew from experience that something wasn't right. He trusted his instincts. He walked past the crowds of people until he saw her. He reached out a hand and grabbed her arm. Everyone froze. Roger Karen was hired on as a security guard for Pascack Hills High School in New York. Before his first day even started, there was controversy around the school's decision to bring him on. It wasn't the position itself that people were wary of. It was his job before. Karen had been a loyal officer at Woodcliffe Lake Police Department for nearly four decades. He would show them that he was the best possible person that they could hire. Soon they'd see his value. It started off on a normal day. He was standing up straight with his hands resting on his belt, looking around for any trouble. He looked normal from the outside, but on the inside there were years of experience swirling beneath the surface. He was ready for anything that might present itself. As the crowds of students ran out of the classroom, he watched them all. They hurriedly ate their meals while laughing with their friends. A girl flashed him a quick smile as she walked past. Her name was Sarah Bazzini. He remembered their talk about her aspiring to be a cop. But he noticed as the 18-year-old student started to walk with purpose and determination, something was going on. Karen was looking for anything out of the ordinary. He was always vigilant. He had to be if it meant potentially saving lives. He made sure to keep her on trail. He could see the yellow shirt she was wearing among the crowd. Something was very strange about her. As Sarah kept walking forward, he had a funny feeling in his gut. He had to trust his instinct. He kept a short distance and a watchful eye on her. It seemed no one else noticed what she was doing. He might have to act. He walked to keep pace and attempted to cut her off. He could now see that she was shaking and nervous. The two rosy lips that usually smiled at him now had a blue tinge. Her eyes fluttered and her frantic limbs started to slow down and drop at her side. Karen had seen this before. If his suspicions were right, he had to act now. But first, he was required to ask something. Sarah, are you choking? She looked up at him, fading away, and gave a clear nod. There was no more time to waste. He swung himself behind her, positions his hands just above her navel, and pulled in and up. Nothing. She was now completely limp. He tried again. He wasn't going to let her end like this. Nothing came out, but now a large crowd had gathered around them, some confused, others very worried. Three more times he tried. Come on, Sarah, he said, trying again. The force pushed a french fry out of her windpipe and sent it sailing to the floor. Next was a loud gulp of air. It seems a girl had been in such a rush to eat her food before getting to class that one tiny fry had gone down the wrong way. She had tried to wash it down with a drink, but nothing worked. As the air came back in, she crumpled into his arms and cried. He picked her up in his strong arms. Karen took her to the nurse. Aside from some bruising, which would be normal in these cases, and being a little shaken, she was in fine health. She was also described to look at Karen with teary awe and gratitude. What happened next was even better news for both of them. It's no surprise that the special bond grew even stronger. Aside from being something she aspired to be when she went into a law enforcement career, he was now her hero. The critics were silenced and the school board posted their own praises. As for Sarah's future, despite remaining humble and Karen saying it's his pleasure and duty to protect the kids, Sarah is more determined than ever to follow in the officer's footsteps. It's clear that one day she will wear the uniform and be saving people just like him. It's a happy ending to one story of Pascack Hills High.